All right, uh, so let us begin now. And uh, so far, you have uh, like no, just uh, weather topic. Uh, what happened? Like, please drop your query. I can see you are raising your hand since long. Please, like, drop here itself. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, the first question coming to you is the schedules. Okay. So schedule one deals with schedule one. Two, three, four. Write each and every schedule. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Just. Okay. First, deals with states. Second, deals with second deals with. Nandika office doesn't make it clear, no? Okay. Uh, so, second deals with the salary. Okay. Third deals with schedule 3. My sound is cracking, is it? Sound is breaking. Alright. Okay. Uh, so, just wait a second. Is it clear now? Please uh, make me sure. Is it clear now? And the screen is visible too? Screen is visible too? Okay, all right. Uh, so the first deals with territory, second allowances and salary. Okay, uh, see, second S, S, no? Second may S, eh? then followed by this. Uh, and uh, then we have the second may S and salary. Okay, so both are S. Then third. Third May, oath is there. Okay. Third May, oath is there. Fourth May, Raja Sabha. Then five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, Five, six, seven. Seven deal with. Seven deals with. Seven is important. Meanwhile, anyone can tell me first schedule was added. Added in which year? Five schedule area, okay. Seven deals with the federal list, okay. All right. Eight may official language. Uh, so, like, no, uh, since uh, recently took the discussion, anyone can tell me which language he was discussing in that particular visa nice holiday session? Which language he was discussing with you people? Kui language, okay? All right. And uh, now my question was first schedule. First schedule was added in which year? Then ninth schedule. First was added in 1951. Nine schedule was added by First Amendment, okay. 
कैन यू प्लीज ड्रॉप द ईयर एज वेल ऑफ नाइनटीन फिफ्टी वन फर्स्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अमेंडमेंट वॉज एडिट इन द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बाय नाइनटी बाय सॉरी बाय फर्स्ट अमेंडमेंट करेक्ट एंड देन हु वॉज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर दैट टाइम हु वॉज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर then ninth schedule was added now this is a pyq of 2019 okay 29 csc ka pyq hai ye wala question all right so what it means it means that article number uh, sorry uh, not article number schedule number okay schedule number 9 is important all right Ninth वाला शेड्यूल इज हाईली हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है उसके बाद में वी हैव डिस्कस द इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ ठीक है पंचायत एंड नाउ म्यूनिसपलिटी नाउ एनी वन कैन टेल मी जो पंचायत और म्यूनिसपलिटी मीन्स लोकल सेल्फ गवर्नमेंट फॉल्स अंडर विच पार्ट ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन फोकस आई एम आस्किंग द पार्ट in which part panchayat municipality or schedule 11 12 falls part 9 a okay then what about part 9 b part 9 b deals with See, part nine was related to panchayat. Nine A was related to municipality. Nine B. Nine B is related to what? Cooperatives. Okay. Now, now hold on. Now the next question is part nine B means cooperatives was added through which amendment? Which amendment? ओके ठीक है सो अब जो है पार्ट नंबर एट डील्स विद वॉट सॉरी शेड्यूल एट शेड्यूल एट डील्स विद वॉट लैंग्वेज इज करेक्ट नाउ क्वेश्चन इज इंग्लिश ओके इंग्लिश इज द पार्ट ऑफ एट्थ शेड्यूल यस नो इंग्लिश comes under schedule 8 yes no we have many yes we have many no finalize your answer first no okay it is not the part of schedule 8 right ab ek baat batao there are some amendments okay there are some amendments under art uh, like no under part 8 ठीक है तो इसमें एक लैंग्वेज आई हुई थी दैट वॉज सिंधी लैंग्वेज दैट वॉज सिंधी लैंग्वेज सो इट वॉज एडेड थ्रू विच अमेंडमेंट जस्ट टेल मी द नंबर ओके इयर इज नॉट दैट इंपॉर्टेंट जस्ट लेट मी नो द अमेंडमेंट नंबर ट्वेंटी वन करेक्ट अब एक सेट और है जिसके थ्रू अमेंडमेंट किया गया था ठीक है दैट इज सेवेंटी वन अब इस बार मैंने आपको अमेंडमेंट का नंबर दे दिया अब आपको बता दें इससे कौन कौन सी लैंग्वेजेस एडिट 
let me let me repeat it again this time i have given you the amendment number now what you have to do you have to just drop the languages which was added in the 8th schedule so we have konkani manipur ki nepal okay nandika correct all right so sindhu it 21 se theek hai नेपाली मणिपुरी कंपनी वॉज एडिट बाय सेवेंटी वन अब इन दोनों का टोटल क्या होता है वट इज अ टोटल ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन एंड सेवेंटी वन इट इज नाइनटी टू अब जो नेक्स्ट सेट होता है यानी अब जो तीसरा सेट है लैंग्वेजेस का नाइनटी टू वाला नाइनटी टू से कौन कौन सी अमेंडमेंट सॉरी नाइनटी टू से कौन कौन सी लैंग्वेजेस को एड किया गया Santhali, Bodo, two more language, Mathali and Santhali. Okay, ठीक है. Just don't forget it. Though I have discussed it earlier as well, but uh, just for the timing, we have discussed it. Okay, so it kids say Sindhi. Then seventy one say we have three. That is Konkani, Manipuri, Nepali. Then uh, like no. If you would uh, put an add here, ninety two and ninety two say four languages. That is this one. Okay, Shikha, good. Now, like no, this much part is really important since so many times schedule have been asked by UPSC. Okay, so this is something one part. Now let us discuss something about the articles followed by DPSP, and then we will conclude with the discussion. Okay, so some back-to-back -back fast questions for you. First of all, as per the Indian Constitution, there are three parts of the DPSP. As per the Indian Constitution, or uh, Indian Constitution have divided DPSP into three parts. That is Gandhian, uh, then National Socialist Integral, and then we have the false, false. Okay. So as per the Constitution, there is nothing like this. Okay, Constitution के हिसाब से कोई भी division नहीं होता है. ओके सोशलिस्ट गांधी ने लिबरल वाले का ठीक है दे इज नो देन विच प्रोविजन ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन टॉक्स अबाउट द वेलफेयर स्टेट एंड दिस इज द पी वाई पी ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन आई गेट्स ओके एंड दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द सेट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द सेट ओके सो डीपीएसपी एग्जैक्टली नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन डीपीएसपी इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऑल राइट नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच प्रोविजन ऑफ the indian constitution prohibits the accumulation of the wealth theek hai bharatiya samvidhan ka aisa kaun sa part hai jo ki like no accumulation of wealth pe prohibition lagata hai ab jo options the uske theek hai wo kafi like no agar aapko pata hai to aapke liye simple hai nahi pata hai to aapke liye wahi jo like no options hai kafi trivial ho sakte hai but answer is simple जिन बच्चों को आर्टिकल्स याद होंगे उनके क्वेश्चंस गलत नहीं हो ठीक है जिन बच्चों को आर्टिकल्स याद रहते हैं उनके क्वेश्चंस गलत नहीं होते हैं एटलीस्ट क्वालिटी में कहीं कहीं ठीक है सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज डीपी डीपीएसपी ओके बिकॉज इसमें क्लियरली आर्टिकल इज मैंशन फाइन नाउ डीपीएसपी वी हैव कवर्ड समथिंग मोस्ट ऑफ ठीक है वी हैव One more question here, Article Fifty One, which have been discussed in the PTS section as well. Can anyone just let me know what is Article Fifty One or what is there in the Article Fifty One, followed by Article Fifty also? So Fifty Fifty One, both. Drop it. <clears throat> International Peace Security. Okay. So Article Fifty One is this. ठीक है दिस इज द आर्टिकल नंबर फिफ्टी वन सो वॉट इज फिफ्टी नाउ आई हैव डिस्कस फिफ्टीन द यस्टर डेज सेशन सेपरेशन ऑफ पावर बिटवीन द जुडिशियरी एग्जीक्यूटिव ओके ठीक है गुड अब एक क्वेश्चन है ठीक है लेकिन ध्यान से सुनना क्वेश्चन को वी हैव टू थिंग्स लेकिन नो पहला एक होता है फंडामेंटल राइट एंड अनादर वन इज फंडामेंटल ड्यूटी ठीक है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ड्रॉप द लाइक नो 
part or article number, whatever you remember for both. FRFD. FRFD ke just mention part, schedule bhi agar yaad ho to. Uh, sorry, not schedule. Article. Okay, part and article. Please drop it. FD ka part 4A. Correct. Article 51A. Okay. Then what about fundamental right part 3? Okay. Okay. Article sub dikhne na. Okay. Matlab likho itne. Jitne me I speak the question. So the question is fundamental duties are provided to both or fundamental duties are enjoyed by both foreigners as well as the citizens of India. This statement is true or false. This statement is false. And uh, please provide the reasoning why so. Why it is false. Citizens only. Okay. If I if I just replace FD with that file. Like you no, know, if I say that uh, these uh, like rights are enjoyed by both. Foreigners as well as citizens. Then what do you think? What would be the answer? True or false? No. Okay. True. False. Uh, so let me just clarify you once. See. Citizen. As well as foreigner. Okay. And FD. Only citizens. Citizens only. Don't like no, don't confuse yourself. Just remember this. Okay, this is final. Now, FD means fundamental duties are enforceable in courts. Fundamental duties, जो है, वो न्याय उचित है. ये बात कितनी सही है, कितनी गलत है. Okay, no, no, no. ठीक है, false. Okay, so वो नहीं है. So, fig as a concept provision hai jo ki enforceable in courts hai. Then what is the, like no, list the provision which can be enforced in courts. FI. Alright. Now, which provision acts for the governance of the country? The provision which deals with the governance of the country. Provision I want to know only. The PSP. Exactly. Correct. Which provision of Indian constitution talks about the internal peace and security? PYQ of two years, 14 and 16. The PSP. All right. Can anyone just tell me the difference between equality before law and equal protection of law? Anyone can list one or two difference between Equality before law and equal protection of law. Well, I'm interested in knowing the basic point. Okay, I just don't want to know the like no uh, factual one. Ki wo se desh se liya gaya ya wo se desh se liya gaya. No, I just want to know the extraction of that. Uh, anyone can give me one example so that I can understand better what you want to convey. Anyone can give me some example like easy example anyone can give me. Equal protection is a positive concept. Exactly. But why so? Why so? Law is supreme and above all. So yeah, correct. Anyone can give a brief explanation for this that how equality before law is a negative concept whereas equal protection of law is a positive concept. Then after that after this question how many of you 
have by hearted the preamble like if i just want to listen the entire preamble how many of you have memorized it or by hearted it okay gobert remembers the entire preamble okay anyone else jisko entire preamble ka इक्वल प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ लो रिजर्वेशन आर्टिकल सेवेंटीन ठीक है करेक्ट समवेयर गोइंग करेक्ट ओके ओके ठीक है सही है सभी को कंसेप्ट याद है हाँ सो आओ पीछे क्वेश्चन पे प्रेम्बल कितनों को याद है यहाँ पे जस्ट लाइक रेज योर हैंड और समथिंग आई मेक यू सी की वाई आई एम आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन okay i will make you see that why am i why i am asking ki how many of you remember the preamble okay so okay you also remember only two like uh, i guess yahan pe no das log hain aur sirf ek do ko yaad hai then what about others agar question aata hai ki like no democratic republican sabhi ko जो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में लिखा है यानी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के अकॉर्डिंग जस्ट अरेज दीज एब्जेक्टिव हाउ यू पीपल सोल्व दैट क्वेश्चन मतलब कैसे सोल्व करते हो हाउ यू पीपल डू इट गैस लगाते हो वहां पे कि लाइक नो चलो हो सकता है पहले सोशल सॉरी सॉफ्टवेयर आता होगा और यू पीपल थिंक रिपब्लिक पहले आता होगा ठीक है नो दिस इज अ रॉन्ग अप्रोच प्रेम्बल याद होना चाहिए और प्रेम्बल का एक एप्लीकेशन जो है या यूटिलिटी जो है वो सिर्फ प्रिलिम्स के क्वेश्चंस तक नहीं वाई सो इतना इंपॉर्टेंट क्यों है प्रेम्बल वाई प्रेम्बल इज सो सिग्निफिकेंट दैट यू शुड रिमेंबर द एक्सेप्ट ऑफ दैट एनी वन कैन टेल मी इफ आई आस्क द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ अ प्रेम्बल फॉर मेन्स सपोज दर इज अ क्वेश्चन इन मेन्स हाउ डू यू अनफोल्ड द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द प्रेम्बल हाउ यू कैन अनफोल्ड the significance or relevance of the preamble a sense of the constitution okay index of the constitution reflecting the aspirations of the people okay okay uh, so arrange these keywords like if i speak democratic republic socialist arrange all these keywords in the same sequence so like you no know, keep the sequence intact again i'm saying the sequence should remain intact usse kuch bhi hoga fir ya like no usse koi bhi changes nahi hone chahiye do it let me see how many of you remember correct chronological order me jo एडजेक्टिव्स हैं प्लीज ट्राई टू पुट इट हियर सो सॉवरेन सोशलिस्ट सेक्युलर डेमोक्रेटिक रिपब्लिक ओके तो जिन्हें लगता है ये वाला सही है जस्ट थम्स अप लाइक नो आप उन्हीं को प्लस वन कर दो नीड नॉट टू टाइप मत लिखो ज्यादा क्योंकि लास्ट में सॉल्यूशन तो एक ही होगा ना तो जस्ट प्लस वन अगर ये दोनों सही है तो जस्ट पुट अ प्लस वन टू दैम एंड इफ दे आर रॉन्ग पुट माइनस वन टू दैम okay uh keep on keep on doing it uh till next question is j l e f correct nice now see this justice liberty equality fraternity anyone can tell me kaun sa adjective kaun se desh se borrow kiya gaya hai or like now we know that our indian constitution is the patchwork wo patchwork hai now it is patchwork we know then can anyone tell me ki for example if i ask about justice so from which indian uh, from which constitution we have borrowed this concept this justice one kahan se liya gaya then we have this lef liberty equality fraternity
so justice has been borrowed from Russia. Okay, Russia, justice, Russia. Then LAF, liberty, equality, fraternity. Yes, France constitution. Okay. Now, this is something important. Or ye question to do bar a chuka. कल हम क्वेश्चन भी देख लेंगे या इफ एनी वन कैन जस्ट लाइक नो फॉरवर्ड एनी क्वेश्चन जो ये पूछा गया था अगर किसी के पास अभी है तो दे कैन डेफिनेटली फॉरवर्ड इट हियर नाउ थ्री की वर्ड्स वो एडेड टू इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बाय फोर्टी सेकेंड अमेंडमेंट एनी वन कैन लेट मी नो विच अमेंडमेंट नंबर दैट इज socialist secular integrity forty second Okay, uh, till date, how many times preamble have been amended? Till date, how many times? Once. Okay. Till date, how many times financial emergency have been announced in India? Financial emergency. Never. Okay. Good. Till date, how many time? Till date. how many times indian president have been impeached indian president have been impeached never all right <clears throat> okay so never and financial emergency never and uh, then gamble amended once okay i hope that discussion is going smooth you people are getting and there is no room of never yeah so there is no room of confusion fine okay so now uh i guess since we are discussing for 2 hours to 8 like we started at 7 it's 9 now let us do one thing let us wrap up here and then we'll meet tomorrow okay and all sessions which have been uploaded do watch and those sessions which are not uploaded will be uploaded and then you can watch it